it's where places like Moe, Shandon, um, I call it Nicholas Flamel because I don't know, I don't know the word Nicholas, what's it called? Flute? <laughs> all of the premium champagne brands are all here. I've just done a little research, there's loads of different packages but for Moe Shandon in particular the cheapest package is 40 euros per person and that would be an hour to look around the cellars. I'm not sure where the grapes are grown, it's around the area, they've got a specific place but the actual cellars where the champagne is brewed is where we've just gone past. The packages range from 40 euros per person to 200 euros per person. I think the one that's 200 you actually get to go to the vineyard and have a look a little, little look around. And I'm, that? Probably not. <laughs> Of course, there's a tasting involved. See, I told you it was in the area. This is the vineyard for Moe and Shandon. Very cool, so we found them. We've just been driving to get to our little campsite. And we've just seen those little sort of like stones on the road saying Moe and Shandon. So there we go, very cool to see. There's literally vineyards everywhere you look around here. Every single direction there's a vineyard. So it's so, so pretty. It's time, beret time, champagne. So, instead of going to an actual uh, vineyard and parking there, we've parked in a, a green air, mm -hmm. which is a camper car friendly car park in France basically, with the services. And instead of parking there, we're doing a little walk around if you like. So there's a few vineyards that are spread out around this little area, but unfortunately a couple are closed, it's Sunday. Yeah. And a couple doesn't, don't show the opening times. So we're gonna go and have an explore and go and sit in some of the little champagne caves and have a drink. Degustation. Degustation. We have just seen our very first ever red squirrel. We've been all around Scotland trying to find them and never have. Always done walks around the Lake Districts as well where they said they were red squirrels <laughs> but never seen one. Then we just, Lauren just spotted one on the side of the road here. He's literally just hopped out to like a little post and then gone back into the trees. Let's go see if we can find him. Well, I'll go see if I can find him, not Bowie. Yeah. Give me one sec, I'll see if I can find him. Loads of fancy supercars have just driven past. I don't care, I just want to look at the red squirrel. You always see so many grey squirrels at home, they're literally everywhere. Just you look in a tree and you see one. He's now gone into hiding, he's gone to his little, little house somewhere in these trees. Just wanted to be on like a tree branch, just looking down. How cute would that be? Okay, so we can't find the squirrel, but we can always come back and look for one later because they're obviously all around here. So to the winery we go. We found our little winery. Have a look. Our worst fears are true. It's a Sunday and nowhere seems to be open. It said on Google it was open though. It did, it says it's open till five on Google. So but I knocked and there was no answer. I could hear voices inside, so whether they just blanked us or... <laughs> they might have been coming from the house, so the voices, there was a house and then right next to it was obviously like the offices and stuff that they have for sales and tasting. So we're trying one last one that we've just seen. And if that doesn't work, I guess, I don't know, we could always, we could stay two nights in this place. Or have a little tasting and then eat a massive lunch and drive somewhere else. Fingers croissant. Fingers croissant. Did we get lucky? No, we didn't. <laughs> Back to the van. Back to the van. And yeah, it's a shame. Don't make our mistake and come to Champagne on a Sunday because nowhere's open. Yeah. Back to the van, go and explore. I don't know, we could go to a winery, but it's going to be shut as well, I imagine. If you're uh, liking what you see, like and subscribe. <laughs> the things not to do while you're van lifting around Europe. <laughs> Morning from a very sunny Champagne. It's 
very early, it's about half six. We've got up to come and watch the sunrise over the vineyards. So pretty. Didn't have a very good night's sleep though. <laughs> now, I love all creatures big and small. Roosters hold a special place for most hated animal. My God, they're annoying. 4 a.m. The sun wasn't even up. I thought they started to call when they saw the sunrise. Apparently not. Four o'clock in the morning, looked up, sea stars. Corn away he was. Anyway, this isn't a newfound hatred of roosters. They were annoying me last year as well. <laughs> We've had service morning this morning. We obviously got up early for the sunrise and then we've just gone to fill up our water, do the toilet, fan life services, you know, boring and stuff. <laughs> the boring stuff. And now we're coming to see if we can do the little wine tour in the village that we wanted to do yesterday in the little village of Newtony, which is where it's all the surrounds of Moe, Chandon, what was it, Bollinger, Bollinger. loads of fancy wines. So. Let's see if we can do I it. I mean, it seems as, seems as quiet as yesterday, so... <laughs> Maybe even quiet. <laughs> we'll see. Good news! Oh, we think they are. We think it's good news. So there's been a bit of translating issues, I think. But apparently the lady's gone to change her shoes from slides to whatever work boots. <laughs> and hopefully we can uh, get a taste of yeah. French it up. French it up. She's just gone to change to the next bottle. It's very nice. Mm. So yeah, we're learning all about the history of her family and how they came to be winemakers. So she doesn't know how far they actually trace back, but this is she's the seventh generation of her family. Very interesting. Very old, very nice. Uh, maybe 2020, 2021, yes. which was the best one. <laughs> uh, 21, no. 21, okay. uh, 22 is my first uh, uh, year, and uh, uh, it is very exceptional. Uh, wow, no sick, no, no rain, uh, it is very good. Mm -hmm. well, that one that's good. Sante. Sante. <laughs> so just here we have the newer cork and then this is the older cork with her grandfather on. It's very, very cute. It's Robert Husson. Robert Husson. No We've bought a bottle of the... Oh, wrong way around. Bottle of the reserve. 25 euro. So worth it. This is a 2015 bottle. Yeah, bless her. She definitely wasn't expecting us to uh, <laughs> to rock up. So, but they've been so accommodating, haven't very they? Welcome, yeah. yeah, very, really welcoming. So, we'll have another little wander and see if we can go into any more. But obviously, they weren't expecting us, so I doubt anybody else will be. Everywhere else looks very shut. <laughs> it says it's open. So. Yeah, but uh, yeah, very, very cute. And it's really nice to do these kind of ones where you know we've never been to we always park on farms park on vineyards and go to go to those which is also very special but this is also nice <laughs> i think we've possibly picked the quietest town ever to come and do a wine tasting so <laughs> we just asked her um you know when when does it get busy in the season when do we you know, when do tourists turn up and want to have wine tastings and she said well normally people message on instagram and if we can't do we ignore do we try in there do you think pretty shut up. Everywhere really looks shut. <laughs> um, so yeah, she said if we can't do it, then we, we say no. But normally, um, message on Instagram, we were like, oh. <laughs> kind of like appointments only. <laughs> yeah. Thing, so. We were like, oh, okay, we just turned up. We got our boutil, boutil. Excellent. And it's very good. It's really, really nice. A little more pricey than I thought it was going to be. It was 25 euros for this bottle. Yeah, so this one's a 2015. We tried a 2020. Uh, brute and a 2015 reserve so this one she said is more special whereas the brute is more like of an everyday kind of wine an easy drinker yeah well, this is easy to drink 
Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> I said to Rich, I couldn't really taste the brute properly because I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> so it was like quite minty. But I bet you, so this is 25 euros, so it seems priced to here, but I think if you pay it in shops, you're paying sort of 40, Probably 50 pounds. 40, yeah, easy. I guess so. Still a, still a steal, still a winner. But it was delicious. Very nice little tasting, nice little experience to, it's really, you know, like getting up close and personal. And yeah, it was getting about the history of the family and things like that. It's really good. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to attempt to do any more around here because for what she was saying with the appointment only then, we're, we're not, we haven't got any appointments. And it's just such a sleepy little town. So I think we'll go back to the van now, have some lunch and then drive to the next place. Nice camp spot, yeah.